to film this because I'm making chocolate chip cookies and we got so lazy. And it's literally 11.21. And so I look like a fetus tonight. That's okay. <laughs> but we've done this, this is our fourth year in a row. I'll link all the other videos. But I was like, so we, ha we can't break the chain now. I know, I was like, Jill, let's just not do this this year. And she's like, I feel weird about breaking the chain. Like, I'm worried about breaking the chain. I am. I'm very worried. Let's talk about 2017. Let's talk about it. So you guys know, this is our yearly tag for the best of. Mm -hmm. Please comment below what your best of is whatever. We'll leave business. the questions. But basically, our dad started circulating this list via email, and we always answer it. So I'm very excited. OK, so the first question <laughs> is best CD. Okay, well, not CD, best album. Okay, Do, okay, but it doesn't have to be made this year. It could be anything we loved this year. Right? How old is it? Okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> like Eminem, like, no. what is it? Okay, guys, I love, there's a album of Christmas carols done by the King's College Choir, and it's a bunch of like <laughs> eight-year-old British boys singing like, Holly! And I love it. And I've listened to that every day since like September. That's so creepy. <laughs> and they also, there's another album of hymns. I love those too. And I listen to them to like mellow me out on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disturbing. If I knew you were listening to that next to me, I'd be like, that woman is weird. Okay, oh, my favorite CD. A little bit higher though. A little bit higher though. <laughs> Okay, that's Hillary's music teacher impersonation. <laughs> okay, my favorite album of the year was Low Blows by Meg Mack. That album is everything. I've literally never heard of that album <laughs> or that person. You know, no one has. It's okay, but look it up. Okay, next, best movie. Get Out. That was my best movie. I didn't even want to see it because I don't like horror movies. It was everything. But Hillary pushed me to go see it, and I also heard it was like the movie of our time, and I believe it is. And it was about getting out. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch Get Out? What's your favorite? Is it the same? Did I watch it? You just said I made you go to it. Did you also watch it? <laughs> um, I would have said Get Out, but then I would be lying because that's my second favorite. I know what you're gonna say. Say it. I, Tanya. No. Oh. That's my third. We saw that together and loved it. It was really good, but my favorite movie of the year that I've literally seen like 20 times is, <laughs> uh -oh. is An Open Secret. Oh. No. <laughs> you and your creepy it's documentary about, about like all the pedophilia in Hollywood and it's like fascinating and so disturbing. So like Google it, it's free on YouTube. Watch, watch this video get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Adpocalypse though. Okay. Best concert or live event? Mine was, uh, my favorite live event was seeing um, the new fireworks show. Yeah! The World Happily Ever After. It was. Adam took us. We weren't even gonna go out that night. We were like done for the day. And he was like, you have to go see this. I was there for opening night and literally hearing everyone's reactions to like the scenes that were coming up and everything like that, it was just like the best. I can't do it that bad, but he was like, you have to go see the show and it was unbelievable. I cried so hard. It was okay. so good. Best new experience. Living with Dan. This is our apartment. We are very excited. We've been super happy living together. Oh, it's been so nice. That's so cute. Why? <laughs> What's so weird. I was going to say going to group therapy. Oh, that's awesome though. That changed your life. That was a new experience. Guys, and that Hillary was... changed her whole life. Yeah, you can like private message me on Instagram if you want to learn more, but basically- You're gonna get like 50 messages. I know. Get okay. ready to do Tell some copy pasting. Me. What's wrong with me? <laughs> um, seek medical help, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I did my first ever like group therapy thing and it was amazing. It was this time last year, it started in January and my life's just been so much better ever since I did it. Mm -hmm. So if any of you have an opportunity to like a group thing, it's so amazing. Led by a licensed psychological or psychiatric <laughs> professional. <laughs> Don't go to um it's like song. this isn't like or what is no, it? this isn't Psychology. like soul cycle. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that's a wonderful workout. I don't want to work out. <laughs> I was gonna go to soul cycle, but 
Okay, <laughs> next, <laughs> best book. The Bible. Oh, you can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, literally. I purposed to read the entire Bible starting from Genesis and ending at Revelation. In and Latin. I did it, no, I did it in <laughs> six months. I spread from front to back. I prayed to have the will to continue. And it was like, I was just craving reading it. And I feel like that was a gift from above. But I finished it and I'm so happy. And I feel like there are parts of it that are very challenging. But, and I made a post on Facebook. You guys can go find it and see what I think about like how to interpret the Bible and all that. But it was an incredible experience. And I feel like I laid a foundation that I can build my faith on. And I sowed a lot of seeds that I can reap as time goes on. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm I was, laughing because I finished, so No, I finished the other day and I was like shaking because you I felt like shook. I'd gone a minute. <laughs> she was woke. That's not what that means. But I, I was shaking because I just like, I felt like I'd run a marathon. It's shaking. like when you set a goal that is so like Outrageous. crazy and then you managed to do it, it was like, <laughs> <gasps> you know? Okay, I'm laughing. I'm book? laughing because mine is like so superficial. Parents, like, you Bible. guys learned to share. No, <laughs> what is it? It was How to Murder Your Life by Kat Marnell. Ooh, I love that book. She's like, she was a fashion editor who was like a secret drug addict, and it's all about her life, like crazy in New York City. That's everything. Best TV show. Ooh, you go first. This is the one I have the most trouble with. You know what? I have to say, my favorite TV show uh, was 13 Reasons Why. Oh, that seems so dark. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. You're so morbid. Yeah. What was, oh, <gasps> cookies! I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to still think of my favorite show. What did I even watch this year? I also love Live PD. <laughs> And I've watched way too much. I've watched so it's much like of all of it. It's crazy. Maybe that was my favorite show. Hard to say. Live PD is pretty epic though. Okay, okay what's guys, your favorite show? Straight up, The Bachelor. I feel like yeah. there's no show that I enjoy more. True. Really. It's like the only like appointment television I have. True. Okay. And now Ari's gonna be The Bachelor. And by the time oh, we rewatch this next year, I'm sure we'll know whatever creepy stuff he's hiding under the rug. Because yeah. he seems like a he Loser. seems like a mere <laughs> serial murderer. Best joke or funny moment. I love how we're both trying to sit further back so we can each be the thinnest one. Oh no, I'm just trying to be comfortable here. Yeah, right. Oh we're literally sitting on the floor. Okay. So that Louis can have a starring role. Look at him. Oh my god, Louis, what are you doing here? <laughs> Best joke or funny moment. Okay, mine. Is <laughs> was it yesterday? He yeah. texted me. Okay, first of all, picture I'm going to bed, all the lights are out, I have my sleep ma mask on, my sleep mask on, I'm like, <sighs> I get a text. Yep. From Jill. And she said that Dan, <laughs> she looked like Putin when she was a baby. And she did. And she did. I did. <laughs> like this video if you think Jill looks like Putin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was your best joke or funny Okay, moment? my best funny moment when I look back on it was when we were in Florida. We were at Disney World and we were hanging out with Adam and we were bugging him all day by singing um, it's, every day, it? bro. it's Every Day Bro by Jay Paul, like driving him nuts. And then <laughs> finally at the hotel one night. I'm flying like a drone. Oh, something, something, me. something. Yeah, I smell good. Is that your boy Cologne? Is that your boy Cologne? <laughs> I lost it. I probably laughed for a good 10 minutes. That was special. <laughs> Maybe that was my favorite song of the year. Best trip. Easy. Disney World. Literally. <laughs> Look at these ears. Yay! I love that photo. Look at putting it there. I'm gonna say a tie, because I loved going with you, but also my trip with Dan. Got my man by my side. Thank you for making this birthday so wonderful. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hmm. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm eight years old again. That was my oh, first yeah. trip with Dan or with like any like romantic partner. <laughs> yeah. 
any lover. With my lover. My lover and I are going to Disney World together. Ew, that's so <laughs> scary. <laughs> but we went and it was like the best and I didn't know how it was gonna be going on a trip with someone like I'm in a relationship with. I was like, is he gonna think this is ridiculous? Is he gonna love it? And he loved it. We had a wonderful time. YOLO. YOLO. Okay. And we're already like, we can't wait to go back one day. Okay, best meal. My best meal is Mom and Morris. Morris has an amazing barbecue and he makes me a special meal like every week he makes me barbecued chicken and hamburgers and grilled peppers. I didn't know you go over there like once a week. Yeah, most <laughs> And they make it for me and it's like the best thing ever. Yum. Mmm. I would say Dan and I went to, when we went to Disney World, we went to the 50s Primetime Cafe and we didn't have a reservation. So we just sat at the counter and the bartender was like a laugh riot and we had fried chicken and it was everything. I hate that place. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. I Why? It. Okay. Because someone's like, get your elbows off the table. Yeah, I hate it. Okay. Best personal news. Louis was like quite sick mm -hmm. and then he made, and he's 16 so when he gets sick, it's like not good. And he made a crazy like bounce back recovery. And now he's healthy as he's ever been. Even though he has chronic kidney failure, like that's something that's never gonna go away. But he is like as healthy as he's ever been. And I could not believe it. And it makes me so happy. So that was my best personal news. Maybe that's mine too. Aw. Hillary yeah. came over that day and like healed him. It was really sad. She he was held like him laying like on baby. the couch and I held him like a little baby. Mm -hmm. And then he came back to life. He did. Okay, next. Best toy, game, or amusement? A fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> I have one at my desk at work, and I like. So do I lights. never use it. It has lights, and I put the lights on, and I spin it while I'm talking to people. Oh, people must love <laughs> they that. Do. And I'm like, yeah. And I just keep spinning it. Our little brother works like with kids, and he said he <laughs> hates fidget spinners because kids don't even look him in the eye anymore. They would just come up to him and go, "I need the bathroom." <laughs> Like not even look at him. So what was your best, was yours a fidget spinner? Best toy game or amusement? I knew I had an answer for this and now I completely forgotten it. Solitaire, you've been playing <gasps> it like every day. Yes, I play solitaire on my phone nonstop. I was talking to someone at work about how much I miss like Windows 95 solitaire. Oh my God. And so I downloaded solitaire on my phone and I play solitaire all the time to the point where literally I'm now the person that's like talking to Dan and I'm like, what do you want to have for dinner? Like um, playing solitaire. My best toy or amusement, I think it's still YouTube. Like just watching YouTube videos and like, that's my most amusement. Yeah, YouTube's also my amusement. I love YouTube. Me too. Um, okay, next. Oh, this is the last one. The last one. Best change or personal improvement. Okay, can I first say that like, Literally every single year I'm like, I lost weight. And it's like, so by like, end of summer I gain weight and then by this time I lose it. And I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. For the last time. Yeah, for the vicious <laughs> cycle. Like I'm not saying that this year. No. I'm saying like all the therapy I've done and like work on myself. Like I'm just such a like, I'm so, happier person. I'm so proud of you. I would say my like, what is it? Best, best personal. Improvement. The road to baptism. Yeah. I'm getting baptized in January, like late January. I am so excited. Hillary's gonna be there. Dan's gonna be there. My mom's gonna be there. God's gonna you. be there. God's always with us. I'm really, really excited. I can already see how like going to church has like changed me in a really good way. I felt my heart change. I've become more like generous, I've become more open-minded, i found like wonderful opportunities to like serve up. Anyway, that was our 2017. Guys, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed some of these memories with us. Yeah. Comment below, like this video, leave us your answers. Yeah. I'll leave the and questions below. And like tell me below. like how thin I look, like how much weight have I lost and we'll gain again and I'm losing again. Don't talk to me about my body. I'm not interested in hearing I know. about that. I wonder if in the next video, when we do this for like 2018, maybe you'll have met the love of your life. God, I hope so.
pray for it. Guys, pray for that. Literally, cause like Dan's asleep, like he's sick. So we're still here and like, thank God Dan lets me like hang out. Of course. He thinks you're hilarious. I know. He thinks you're editing. Hillary's always my New Year's date, and yeah. she's always my Valentine, because Hillary's birthday is Valentine's Day. Another one alone. Not gonna sit, you still got a month and a half. Ew. That's Get on time. Tinder, girl. Okay, you guys, this has gone left. We love you. We love you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And even if 2017 sucked, who cares? Yeah. It's a fresh start, and even if it was great, take what was great and bring it into the next year. And if it was crappy, just, Bury it in the backyard. Shoot it and bury it in the backyard. Yeah. If it's a concept, not if it's a person. We're not <laughs> telling you to kill anybody. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Love you, bud, though. Bye, though. <laughs> Hillary's thinking about the tent of terror. No. Nope. You're not doing it? The strobe lights. No. What does it say? It says, you'll be exposed to strobe lights, fog, loud noises, and graphic scenes. No, though. That's what a young or sensitive children. <laughs> Me. You are Let sensitive. Let me see what the boobarn is though. <laughs> There's a boobarn.